Prince Harry is set to release his tell-all memoir as the royal family is braced for the publication to reveal intimate details of private royal life. The brotherly relationship between Prince Harry and Prince William, which has been strained since the Duke of Sussex stepped back from royal life in 2020, is set to face a new challenge with the publication of Prince Harry's book this autumn. In his renowned interview with Oprah Winfrey, the Duke of Sussex revealed he felt let down by his close family members and that he and his brother needed space in their relationship to allow fractures to heal. As the book release looms, royal expert Jenny Bond claimed the pair remained distanced as Prince William has been left anticipating a new bombshell to be unveiled by his brother. Ms. Bond, who formerly worked as the BBC's royal correspondent, told GB News, I think the problem with Harry writing his account of his life is that it has eroded trust. Really, there is very little trust after the Oprah interview, particularly between William and Harry and other members of the royal family. They don't know what bombshell is going to come next. Trust is something that is very important in royal circles, there aren't very many people they can trust. Discretion is everything and both Meghan and Harry have demonstrated that they are no longer willing to be traditionally discreet about what goes on behind palace walls. Ms. Bond continued, Yes, they, the royal family, are fearful about what is going to come out and yes it is still, I think, poisoning the relationship between the two brothers, who were so close. It's so sad with the 25th anniversary of Diana's death coming up to see her boys still at loggerheads with one another. While an official release date for Harry's memoir has not been confirmed, published Penguin Random House said the publication was tentatively scheduled for late 2022. In a statement announcing his plan to publish the book, Prince Harry said, I'm deeply grateful for the opportunity to share what I've learned over the course of my life so far and excited for people to read a first-hand account of my life that's accurate and wholly truthful. Upon their arrival, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge took their seats on the right-hand side of St. Paul's Cathedral, sitting beside Princess Anne, Prince Charles, and Camilla Parker Bowles. Meanwhile, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex sat on the opposite side of the cathedral, beside Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank. In recent years there has been some evident tension between William and Harry and their respective wives, as they have become increasingly distant in both their personal and professional lives. The two couples have not been seen together since the Commonwealth Service in Westminster Abbey in March 2020, which was held three months after Harry and Meghan announced their plans to resign as senior working members of the royal family. A couple of days after this, Harry and Meghan moved to California, where they now reside with their son Archie, 3, and daughter, Lilibet, 1. Prince Harry and Prince William have been seen together a couple of times since the Duke of Sussex moved to America. In April 2021, the brothers reunited to attend the funeral of their grandfather, the Duke of Edinburgh. Less than three months later, they publicly appeared together again in July 2021, as they unveiled a statue of their late mother, Princess Diana, commemorating what would have been her 60th birthday. On Thursday, Palace insiders told Page Six that the brothers had no intention of interacting with one another whilst celebrating their grandmother's Platinum Jubilee.